So I'm a party planner and I have a custom old head put down a deposit for her birthday. Um, she then cancelled the party. For her birthday, her birthday, did you birthday say? party. Yep. Yes. She then cancelled the party stating that um, her husband's brother passed away. And um, in our terms and conditions, it says that if you cancel the party, you get no refund, but the funds can be postponed towards another event date. But she then came back to me and said that in her culture, when somebody passes away, they're not allowed to celebrate for a full year. So basically what I'm trying to ask, she's then also come back to me and said that um, she wants a full refund because it's now a frustrated contract. Yeah, um, um, not, yeah. Uh, that, 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 that sounds... A frustrated contract is where the performance of the contract has become impossible because of circumstances beyond somebody's control that weren't mm-hmm. contemplated when either uh, the person entered into the contract. So it's quite a clever argument, but it's not going to succeed. Um, the reality is she's choosing not to go ahead with the party, and she may have very good reasons for choosing not to mm-hmm. go ahead with the party, but she is nevertheless choosing not to go ahead with the party. Uh, mm-hmm. And... Uh, I cannot see any judge saying that contract is frustrated, that it's been ripped up by the death of her, did you say her brother-in-law? Yes. Uh, and um, because otherwise it follows that everything she's ever agreed to do would go into hiatus for a year. Every holiday she could get all her money back on. Um, and indeed yes. everybody from her culture could, could argue exactly the same thing. It's not going to work. Genevieve, your terms and conditions will win the day here. Uh, mm-hmm. However... However, um, have you thought about just trying to strike a deal with her? Um, yes. So originally when she called to explain the situation to me, she originally asked for £300 back. And how she how much had she given you? And, um, originally she gave me 800 Right. Yep. Yeah. So she pleaded and pleaded and said, oh, she wanted to do a photo shoot so she could um, send her family some pictures. And so she pleaded with me to give her 300 back, which I did. But the day I actually got in touch with her to tell her that um, I was able to speak to my partners and get 300 back for you. She then that's when she then came through with the whole frustrated contract. Okay, um, did you still send her the 300? Yes. Well, I have to say you're nicer than I would have been in those circumstances. I know. She really pleaded with me. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I get why you did it. Of course, it's a nice thing to do. And it's 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 mm. a sensible compromise. You're giving her almost half the money back. But presumably yeah. you couldn't. Was it short notice? Was it close to the date of the party? Um, it was, I think, two, two to three weeks notice. Yeah. So you're not going to get another job to fill the time. Uh, no. You're, you're left not earning any money. There is there is no way that a judge would say that contract is frustrated. If she'd died, uh-huh. possibly, but not when her brother-in-law dies. Right, right, OK. OK, so it's a really clever argument. She's spoken to a lawyer. The lawyer said, say this, it's not going to wash in court.